of these rockers has been a, a pioneer in, in his his ways. I'm here to talk about Lee Rocker, who I played in a garage with probably seven or eight thousand times. He would do the boom, and I would do the bop. The first award of the night is going to be going to Lee Rocker. You have to love Lee Rocker. He is just a bad motherfucker. Uh, he's got a haircut from the 50s. He plays the stand-up bass, and he makes it look cool. He is an amazing musician. Uh, and to present uh, the award to him tonight is our Green Day bassist, Mike Dirt, and of course, voted best rock bass player five times by the Reader's Poll and Guitar Magazine, Billy Sheehan. So a nice hand for these guys coming up. At 16 years old, Lee Rocker got an upright bass and started a band with his two friends in a garage in the Long Island, New York town of Massapequa. They called themselves the Street Cats. Heavily influenced by both the sounds of artists from the 50s and the modern punk scene, the Stray Cats spearheaded the rising rockabilly revival in the 80s. The self-debuted album Stray Cats, released in Britain in 1981 on Arista Records, garnered three UK top 10 singles, including Rock This Town, which the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has listed as one of the 500 most important songs in the history of rock and roll. And Stray Cats Drive and Rock This Town became number one videos on MTV. And when the channel exploded, it pushed the songs into the top 10 of American charts. In total, Rocker and the Straight Cats sold nearly 10 million albums and garnered 23 gold and platinum certified records worldwide. Rocker's solo career is just as impressive. He has recorded and performed with dozens of amazing performers like Carl Perkins, George Harrison, Willie Nelson, Leon Russell, Keith Richards, John Fogarty, and Scotty Moore, just to name a few. And has joined the cast of A Million Dollar Quartet, where he plays bassist Clayton Perkins, the brother of Sun Record Recording artist Carl Perkins. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, Mr. Lee Rocker. I gotta say thank you first to Mike and Billy. This award means so much more by having both of you guys present it. I want to thank Bass Player Magazine for recognizing my 35 year career. When I was a kid, I mean, I would wait at the mailbox for Bass Player Magazine. But most importantly, I want to thank my wife, Deborah, of 25 years. I definitely wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. I've had the pleasure of making music, touring the world, and living my life by playing the bass, and it's a joy and a privilege. Sometimes I really think that that bass has brought me around the world, not the other way around. I could go on and on and uh, tell stories about how I started in New York at CBGB's in Max's Kansas City in the late 70s. As the Stray Cats, we moved to London, and I dragged my bass through the, those city streets. A couple of months there, we would uh, sleep in Hyde Park. That was always fun. Or uh, how Keith Richards stole a leopard jacket from the studio after playing guitar on a Phantom Rocker and Slick song. But I think that I'd rather do what it is that I do best, and that's get on that stage and play some bass. So thank you. Guys.